If your CRM looks broadly like this, then I'm about to blow your mind. I built about 10 different apps for this CRM with the focus of using AI to give you massive leverage in your business. And throughout that time, I've learned what actually works to give you the most leverage so you can get perfect analytics and enablement using AI in your CRM. As you probably know, most reporting solutions give you a ton of data about the front of funnel. You get cost per lead, how long do people watch your videos, you know, what's the cost per click, and then kind of nothing in the middle, but at the end you get, you know, cost per conversion and total ROAS and all this stuff. And that's, that's awesome, that's fantastic. But what I've long wished for was a bunch of data about what is actually happening in the middle. Because as you probably know, that's where the rubber hits the road. It's, are these leads being called? What, how long are we talking to them on the phone? What are we saying? Are we actually following the script? That's kind of what matters, and so that's what I've built. Now, I'm gonna walk you through this app, and I'm gonna give you examples of every single use case by kind of talking about the features that we have here. So, let's get started. Now, if you're an agency owner, like I used to be, then this is probably the view that will come most in handy. So. What I really wanted for when I was an agency owner was to be able to see all of my clients and all of their data in one place and not just ad spend. Of course, you might not know this, but it is possible within Facebook to create a view which shows cost per lead across ad accounts. I never figured it out. I've only seen it once, but this view gets rid of the need for that. So what we have is we have the list of all of your clients. We have their automation group, which we'll talk about in a second. And then we have their ad accounts. So if we had Google, we could see Google, I only run Facebook ads, but we can see that this account has two active campaigns and this one is actually status and unsettled, which means their card got declined. And you could see if their account got restricted in the same view. So without having to click into every single ad account, you can see the status. We also have total ad spend and cost per conversion across this. And then we also have total new contacts created in the sub account over this time excluding ones that are manually uploaded. Then we have AI quality grade, which we'll talk about in a second, but this gives you an idea of, okay, we're getting leads for $6.91, but are they actually quality leads? And in this case, it looks like for the most part, they actually are. Then we have touch rate. So this is the percentage of those leads that are actually contacted manually with like a phone call or a text. So that's actually people that are being reached out to. Engagement rate is the percentage of these contacts that actually reply. Speed to lead, of course, we can see I'm doing terribly here, but we can see that my client's actually doing three under three minutes speed to lead. So that's manual messages that are sent. Although the sales grade here, the median sales grade across all of the contacts is a D. And then we have close rate, revenue per contact, and gross ROAS. The other thing we can see on this overview screen is all of our users. And so this is valuable. I had a, or I have a client who uses this app and their problem was they're sending leads to these companies that have a bunch of salespeople. And you know, a lot of these leads aren't closing. Some of the clients aren't getting sales. And my client can see, hey, they're, you know, the sales reps aren't actually calling the leads, but the person who owns the business doesn't know that. They think their salesperson people are great because you know they hired them. And so my client was like, I really want a way to be able to show my client like, hey, your reps aren't doing their job. And so this view allows them to do that. You can see across all sub accounts or under a specific sub account. You can see all of the users. You can see how many new contacts are assigned to them, how many messages have been sent, email sent, calls made, calls answered, which we'll talk about in a second. That's determined with AI. The quality grade of the leads, the sales grade of this salesperson, the contacts that are assigned to them, and speed to lead, all this good stuff. So if you wanna be able to keep track of your clients. But now we come on to our second use case. So the first use case was sales accountability. This second use case is sales analytics. So what if you don't really care about seeing data at a high level, but you actually wanna be able to see data at kind of the nuance level, like, okay, what, where are our leads coming from? What's our close rate, all this good stuff. So what we can do is we can look at our data here. So we have a bunch of different statistics. So engagement rate, lead touch rate, this is a lot of stuff we had seen previously. We can go total valid leads, et cetera, you know, time to win, stuff like that. And we have some, some charts here so we can see speed to lead distribution. So this breaks down the speed to lead by how quickly were they reached out to you. So you can see most of them are under 15 minutes in this case. And we can also see um, to lead at the, as a statistic and the median number is six minutes, 10 seconds for the speed to lead. 
Then we also have an AI pipeline. So this allows AI to move your contacts through your pipeline rather than your salespeople having to do it manually. Because as you probably know, pipeline hygiene or CRM hygiene is not easy to keep. It's quite a trick. So what this does is it uses AI, looks at the conversation and places leads where they should go. So we have new contact. These have no status, then valid lead, then hot lead, and then consultation booked, and then finally closed one. And then coming down here, we have a table of all of these leads. So we can see their name, their location, their AI status, which was determined with AI. And then we also have a summary of this lead, which we can read. We have a quality grade of this lead. Um, we have a sales grade, which breaks down exactly like why they were given this grade. And then we have the tasks. And as you can see, a lot of these tasks are actually AI generated. So AI is gonna be reading the conversation and generating tasks for you so that you or your salespeople can follow up. And we'll talk more about that in a second when we get on to sales enablement. Then coming over here, we have some of the attribution data so we can see the category of where they came from. So direct social integration, direct traffic, etc. The channel and then how they were created. So like chat widget, phone call, message, etc. Um, and then assign to, speed to lead. And then this has been very helpful to my clients who run their own business and they're trying to follow up with leads. So it's the touch and engagement summary. So we can see at a glance here exactly what we've done with all of these contacts. So we can see with this person, it's been, we've sent one Facebook message and they've sent two. We've sent three texts here. We've called them once and they answered. So we talked for four minutes, but we can see in some cases there was no touches. So we haven't reached out to them manually at all. And there's been no engagement. Additionally, we can see the last message. So we can see that these messages have been automated. And if it failed, it would show us that our last message failed. And the AI also knows that, which is pretty cool. Cause then if all the messages fail, then it can say, Hey, this is probably an F grade lead. Their phone number is totally broken. We have no way to get in touch with them. So this is the call data. We have call volume by location. We could also do by user or by direction. And then we have a breakdown of every single phone call. So we can see the contact's name, the direction, the status, the duration, and then we have a call grade. So this is where AI will look at the phone call and it'll give a sales grade based on the criteria that you provide. We'll get into that more. And then we have a call summary. And if we click on the transcript page, then we can actually see a overview of the transcript. We can see the call summary, the contact, and the full transcript, you can click through it to listen through. So if you ever wanna save sales calls that you think are really good for training or for just showing other clients, you can do that really easily here. But I'm sure you're wondering, how do I control all of this magic? Well, this is how it's done. It's using these automation groups. So these are your automation groups. We'll click into one of these and just inspect how it actually works. So first of all, all call transcripts or all automations have by default transcripts enabled. So what this allows for is us to basically look at the transcript. We get it transcribed by a third party that's more cost efficient than the native transcripts. And this also allows us to analyze that transcript and fix any diarization errors or any speaker errors based on the business context. Additionally, we have call summaries. So this is how you control the call summaries. You can have them added to the CRM, but importantly, you can specify what kind of details you wanna pull out from the call summary. So if you only care about specific details, then you can tell the AI, hey, tell me about these specific things. In this case, we're telling, you know, we want to figure out what kind of vehicle they have, what installation they're looking for, basically just the top level things that really matter to us when we're trying to figure out, okay, who was this person? What do we talk about? Then we have AI sales scoring. So this is where you set the criteria. We have a generic framework for how to basically grade a sales conversation. And this works on phone calls and the conversation as a whole. So every phone call can have its own grade. And then the entire conversation can also get its own grade. Now, the next thing we have is contact status. So what this does is it tries to place contacts automatically in the stage or status that fits them. So we have two for solicitors and non leads. So a non lead might just be like your buddy who reaches out to you over Instagram and you know, he, you're connected to Instagram via the CRM, but he's not really a lead. So we're just going to mark him as a non lead in this case. And solicitor is pretty obvious, but it's actually pretty remarkable because you know those Facebook messages that everyone gets that's running ads that's like, hey, your your account's getting shut down. You have to like click this link. Well, this catches it. It's kind of incredible because I didn't realize that was common knowledge that that's a scam, but it knows. So this will get rid of those kind of scam leads from you from your pipeline. 
And then these are the pipeline stages. So we have valid lead, hot lead, consultation booked, and closed one. And this will use AI to look at the conversation and place these leads where we want them to go, which gives us a much more accurate pipeline. Additionally, these statuses can be added as a tag. So if you want to have it update the actual CRM pipeline, then you can do that. But I just use it in the dashboard because that's really the only place I look at because it's all in one place. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now we have AI contact scoring. So this is where you break down the rules of what makes a good lead and what makes a bad lead. We have five grades. So same for sales, but it's A through F, F being the worst. And in this case, we're giving an example for each grade, what to, you know, how to grade the contact. We also have a full contact summary. So I think this is actually better than call summaries because for call summaries, the issue is you might have like four or five phone calls and then all those summaries stack up and you kind of have to like read through them and try to figure out which one is the most helpful. With a contact summary, it looks at every phone call, every text message, everything, and gives you a summary of the contact and the conversation overall. I think much more helpful. Then we have the contact value. So this can estimate the contact value. If you are the type of person, or maybe if your clients are the type of people to forget to update their pipeline you know, value or stage, this can also help with that because this can update the contacts value based on some examples that you provide. And then finally, kind of getting into the sales enablement, which is the last use case for this, is task generation. So as you saw earlier, this will generate tasks based on the conversation as a whole and put those into the CRM. So you can easily just have a bunch of tasks generated for people that you need to follow up with. And it's very good at it. Now, one question I get is, how does this actually work with the CRM? Is this an automation or a snapshot that you import? It's actually external. So it's all built in custom code. I hate saying custom code, but it's custom code and it allows for much more powerful automations than the built-in automations. I have a bunch of automations built, you can see in my other apps, but this is much more powerful because we can basically customize every part of the prompt and get really accurate outputs. Additionally, if you want to have it run for multiple locations, rather than having to create a snapshot, duplicate it to all the sub accounts, and then when you change something, you have to like duplicate it and hope it doesn't break anything that you changed in the other sub accounts, this just does it for you. It's just magical. You just select whatever locations you want to have it run for, and it runs for those locations. They're all kept perfectly in sync with the same prompting. So that's a complete tour of the entire app, and I would really love to hear what you think so follow the call to action. There's going to be a call to action somewhere, you know, depending on where you're watching this, but go ahead and follow that or go ahead and book a call and I can help you understand, you know, answer any questions and help to get you set up. So looking forward to talking.